Judy, the harrowing DHS report coming just as FBI Director Christopher Wray goes before the Senate Judiciary Committee, chaired by Illinois senior Democrat Dick Durbin. Wray on the hot seat nearly two months after Trump partisans and domestic terrorists invaded the U.S. Capitol with tough questions about what intelligence the FBI had leading up to that hostile takeover. Based on your investigation so far, do you have any evidence that the Capitol attack was organized by, quote, fake Trump protesters? We have not seen evidence of that at this stage. Illinois Senator and Committee Chairman Dick Durbin setting the record straight about who was behind this deadly and destructive January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol, the same extremists that are now straining federal law enforcement resources. I join my Republican colleagues unequivocally in condemning left-wing violence, but let's stop pretending that the threat of Antifa is e equivalent to the white supremacist threat. We need to be abundantly queer, clear that the white supremacists and other extremists are the most significant domestic terrorism threat facing the United States today. We don't care whether it's left, right, up, down, diagonal, or any other way. If the ideology is motivating violence and it violates federal law, we're coming after it. Ray told senators that since he became FBI director in 2017, white supremacist arrests have tripled. That problem tonight at the heart of this new confidential assessment of domestic extremism obtained by ABC, citing white supremacists as a lethal and persistent threat based on their calls for attacks and continued attempts to commit violence. The threat from white power extremist groups such as the Boogaloo Boys that the I-Team reported last October had been on a recruiting binge during COVID, a militia group issuing a call to arms on social media to confront Black Lives Matter protesters. Boogaloo members are anti-government and angling for a new civil war. Several were arrested in the wake of the Capitol attack and others are suspected of taking part in the rush on the Capitol. FBI Director Chris Wray today supporting the Bureau's routing of intelligence prior to January 6th reports from its field office in Norfolk that such a planned Capitol attack was in the works. Ray's answer is still not enough for some, though, who see an FBI failure that could have averted the capital calamity. Alan? All right. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.